Hello tarot lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic, welcome back to my channel. Today I want you to share with me this uh, nice moments. I've received these six new decks last night and I I couldn't wait but I decided to do the unboxing so that you can share these uh, lovely moments with me. I'm so excited and I have, I, I don't know which one to choose, but I will start with this uh, oracle. Uh, sister uh, sisters of the sea and it's by my two favorites lucy cavendish and artwork by emmy brown and i have most of lucy cavendish decks also emmy brown because i really love their uh, her artwork and let's see how uh, this oracle will turn to i haven't seen any ah, wait just a moment what's wrong with this I have not seen, let me take this away, I have not seen any images of this deck. I think it's really uh, quite new, uh, it's uh, newly released. I have not seen any images, but I love Lucy Cavendish and all her decks are adorable. And this is by Blue Angel and I like their publishing so much. This is the box. And the guidebook is so nice, as all her guidebooks, you see, enchanting mirror energy. Uh -huh. Some, there is something new. I think this is more, uh, more informative. I see here a lot of, uh, the guidebook is different. This is a new way of, uh, the guidebook is really nice. Gods and goddesses of the sea, mermaid symbology. Well, that's interesting. And then, well, that's really interesting. And then here we have the goddesses and uh, of the sea, treasures. Well, that's really interesting. Uh huh. You see, the book is really uh, different. I knew that Lucy Cavendish is always, uh, she always have something uh, new to offer. So all this is an introduction and a lot of, uh, a lot of information, 63 pages about mermaids and the goddesses and the symbols and then it starting to talk about the uh, spreads here oh that's too much that the guidebook is really very informative and quite uh, interesting that's really good it's different than uh, the rest of the guidebooks this has a lot more information and then let's have a look at the cards the cards are gorgeous look at those bags wow and the quality it's matte and so soft in your hands look at those beautiful mermaids belonging emmy brown is adorable connection she's my favorite of all times and i have uh, two of her uh, three of her oracles Maybe I can show them in one video. This is respect. Look at this. When the song returns. Miracle of the Mare Oracle. And Mare Meetings. Higher Powers. Knowledge. That's beautiful. Really beautiful. I love her artwork. Look at how intricate it is. She's the best, uh, in my opinion, uh, um, to uh, depict fey energy. I feel her cards so much. I love her artwork really. And I recognize it immediately. Uh, she has a sort of... Uh, her lines are so distinguished. The way she does the hair, the details, the small details. I really love her artwork so much. And it's always full of dragons, uh, mushrooms... I like her artwork so much. Well, these cards are really gorgeous. Very, very beautiful and colorful and really elegant. And then the storm. 
the deep child within mare witch the mermaid sanctuary i like the cards the sea green friendship looking back ah oh, this is a beautiful card looking back the tranquil place to let go with the grace the salt water sisters this is also very pretty responsibility well really the cards are gorgeous so beautiful so unique so that's a gorgeous oracle for with the, for my two uh, adorable uh, i love the author i love lucy cavendish i love emmy uh, uh, brown's artwork and i do appreciate this gorgeous oracle so that was my first oracle sisters of the sea great and then I found also this uh, uh, tarot deck, Ehrenberg Tarot, and I have not seen any images uh, about this deck, but it, it's, uh, it's really interesting and it intrigued me. I saw these two uh, images on the back and I felt that I want to get this gorgeous uh, deck. So let's have a look at this tarot deck. It's by US Games. And here is the box. A small guidebook with explanations of the cards and a very small black and white image. And then the cards. Let's get rid of this plastic. I think I did it right, I hope. Yes. Okay, all is well. So, these are the backs of the cards. The quality is very nice. It is uh, glossy. And, well, the artwork is really very distinguished. This is the Fool. And, oh, wow, beautiful magician. And the High Priestess. Look at that. The Empress and the emperor the hierophant this is a beautiful uh, unique deck the lovers the chariot strength look at this and the hermit the wheel of fortune justice i like this too well it is really ah oh, this is gorgeous the hanged man very nice depiction and the death card it's nice that it's so simple and just um you know it comes like a flash of knowledge and this is the temperance the devil the tower the star the moon the sun and judge look at this and the world card beautiful ace of cups lotus flower two of cups the th very nice four five and six look at this six of cups and then the seven a beautiful seven of cups eight the nine and ten that's a very powerful deck page of cups the knight the queen and king and then the pentacles well, that's really a new take. It's not a, um, a clone. Four. That's very powerful. This is a very nice card. Four of coins. Well, that's great. It shows how you are stiff. You cannot move. And so attached to material, uh, um, material life. And then here is the five. The six seven eight nine beautiful deck that's a very unique and special deck and this is the king the swords two so simple so straight to the point look at this beautiful three of swords ah, beautiful three of swords for i want to do a video talking about one specific card each video 
one of the miners and pick some special cards because this is really nice like this three of swords is so unique i like this six of swords too the seven a beautiful seven of swords the eight nine and ten the page look at this knight of swords the queen and the king the ones that's a beautiful unique deck four of ones five i hope you can see the images clearly and this is the eight of ones the nine defensive the ten the page knight queen and king that's a very unique deck Ehrenberg tarot it is so special these are the backs and these are the beautiful different cards and i'm going to trim it i'm going to remove this small border it's really a very unique deck straight to the point with a very special energy so that was my second uh, tarot deck Ehrenberg tarot i'm so happy till now and then uh what else this is let's see this one hocus pocus from disney and i have some of the inside editions i have like four decks by inside editions about disney and that's why i wanted to buy this uh, hocus pocus deck i saw some of the images and um in one of the videos and I did really like it. I know that it's a pip uh, deck. Look at the box. Very nice. Ah, the box is so cute. Look at this from the inside. Very nice. Okay. And then let's have a look at the guidebook. Beautiful guidebook. S uh, images large image of the card and explanation upright uh, upright divination and the reversed so that's really nice and let's have a look at the cards beautiful backs it's matte and i like the quality of the cards and the size is nice a little bit larger i think a little bit larger than the normal size anyhow that's the full I'm going to edge it in purple, I think. Maybe green. Let I think green. This is the fool and the magician. The high priestess and the empress. That's the emperor. The hierophant and the lovers that's nice <laughs> really nice the chariot the strength card yeah and the hermit the wheel of fortune the justice card look at this card I think you really need to have uh, to read the guidebook. Suspension is the hangman. Transformation is the death card. It reminds me of the um, uh, what's the name of the deck? Uh, Midnight magic, something like that. And this is the master. I like the tower card, the star, the moon. The sun judgment beautiful card the world king of potions queen of potions knight of potions page of potions of course i think potions is the suit of water the ace the two three four five six well that's interesting 
seven of potions well i like the cards very much and here the king of candles queen of candles knight of candles and this is the page candles must be the fire energy ace of candles the two the quality is really nice and the cards are so nice in your hands and i'm so much looking forward to work with it but of course the the guidebook will be very important that's really beautiful and here is the king of pumpkins this might be the earth uh, suit here is the queen the knight the page ace of pumpkins two of pumpkins beautiful three four and five six seven eight nine ten and here we have the king of lighting is that's the swords the queen the knight and the page that's a beautiful sweet deck very unique the three of lightning the four the five six seven and eight nine and ten that's a beautiful deck hocus pocus i saw some reviews about it and they all talked very well about this beautiful gorgeous card i like it uh, gorgeous deck i really like it and i like the colors and i'm going to edge it in this light green color uh not purple i guess the green will be uh, will add some color so that was my third deck focus focus and then i have still three more decks to go i'm so excited i won't i can't wait now this is a new deck that's the napo taro and uh this is a deck i haven't seen at all but i saw some of the images in the back i felt that it's a nice deck i can't help myself really when I see nice decks, it takes a lot of, st uh, I struggle a lot to stop buying decks, but really, um, it's my passion. Well, that's so cute, as I expected. It's a nice, cute deck. Uh, I think it's a Rider Waite Smith clone, but it looks really uh, colorful and pretty let's see okay it's by us games okay and this is a small uh, little white book and the cards look nice these are the bags i will definitely remove the borders i like the quality this is a cute sweet deck look at this the fool the magus well that's a beautiful deck the high priestess and the empress the emperor and the pope the lovers this is a cute colorful deck the chariot fortitude and the hermit and i like the astrological symbols the wheel justice with the libra sign the hanged man the death card that's beautiful temperance the devil a <laughs> cute tower and the star is really nice this is a very sweet deck look at this and the sun judgment and the world who did this lovely deck it's by ah what's the name of the i don't know i didn't find it by betty lopez betty lopez look at this king of wands well that's so cute queen of wands and the uh, knight it's a rider weight smith clone i think this is a very sweet deck for beginners uh, and i like the keywords completion strife that's nice i love keywords really and the veiler oh that's um asthos deck oppression king of cups and the queen the knight the page ace of cups love abundance disgust 
and disappointment, memories, illusions, indolence. I think this is a this is a, a fourth deck, happiness, and then the King of Swords. It is so colorful. It is so cute. And the quality of the cards is really nice. It's a perfect deck for beginners. And uh, a nice clone. Perspective. A very easy reader. And I like the keywords. King of Discs. And the Queen. The Knight. Page. An easy deck to use. And works. Power. Worry. Success, effort. Well, that's really a nice deck. Okay, so that was another new sweet deck. Beautiful, colorful, easy to use. And I'm definitely going to remove the borders. Because it will make a lot of difference when I remove the borders. And maybe edge it in a the yellow. I think yellow would be nice. So that was another deck. Then I have these two decks. The Mystic Palette by Ciro Marchetti. And I have most of his decks. I think I have all of his decks. And maybe I should... Let us remove this. I should do, uh, do a... Vi I did earlier a video to uh, showing my collection. But I added like two or three more decks. So maybe I can... I should redo it again. Because I like his artwork so much. And I have many... Many of, I think I have all of these decks. Uh, uh, okay. And it's by Llewellyn. I saw some images about this deck and I, I really liked it. I love his Oracle of Visions. It is a stunning Oracle. Look at this. Beautiful, very nice, beautiful hand uh, guidebook by Lee Burston. And the cards, the box is so cute, and the cards are large. Well, that's really interesting. That's the box, the guidebook, and let's have a look at the cards. Now, this is not easy. Okay. The cards are large and that's something I do like. It's larger than the normal size. Beautiful, beautiful. These are the backs. And um, the quality is nice. That's a beautiful fool. Look at this. I like his artwork. It's so colorful, so uh, inspiring and lovely magician. Look at this magician. Wow. And the High Priestess, Empress, and that's the Emperor. Very strange, but sweet, I like. And this is the Pope, the Hierophant, the Lovers. The, the artwork is really nice. And that's the Chariot, the Strength card, Beautiful Hermit. The Hermit card is always a card that I really like. Wheel of Fortune. And that's the Justice card. Well, that's interesting. And the Hangman. Look at this death card. Oh, so colorful. And here is the Temperance. The Devil. Beautiful tower and a beautiful star card. And the moon. The sun. Judgment and the world. This is a beautiful deck and I like the size very much. That's the ace of wands. And the two. Three and four. Six of wands. Very nice. Beautiful seven of wands, and I like the Sagittarius and Leo signs. Eight of wands, and the nine of wands. Beautiful, beautiful card, ten of wands. The page, 
the knight and the queen and king so that's a beautiful deck and look at this beautiful colors and the ace of cups and the two his uh, artwork is so um, it has a very special style and uh, of course there are some similarities when you have all his decks you will feel the similarities and you will feel how he um, there <laughs> that's something that I do really like when I do uh, have all the decks of the same person you feel uh, there is a connection between all the decks. This is a beautiful Eight of Cups. Beautiful card. The Nine. And I like this too. The Ten of Cups. The Page. The Knight. Queen. <laughs> I like this Queen. Look at these. Her, uh, like the Corals. And the King. And then the Swords. Two of Swords. Uh, three and four uh, five of swords and the six the look at this seven of swords very cute and eight the nine and ten well that's a nice deck beautiful and then the suit of earth coins two three look at this beautiful four five and six i like this too the cards are very nice. And this is a beautiful nine of cups, uh, coins, and the ten. It's very colorful. And I like very much the astrological, astrological associations, symbols, and this is him. That's his image. So that's a beautiful deck, the Mystic Palette. I wanted very much to get it, but I think I saw one muted colors mystic palette in muted colors i don't know if there are two decks or one or what maybe i'm mistaken this is so colorful and i thought that the deck will be uh in more muted colors if you know anything just let me know i will check it out and my last deck is this beautiful classic deck that i wanted very much to get the oswald worth tarot and this is a beautiful classic deck that I wanted to get since a long time. So I'm excited to see the cards. I like these older classic decks very much. It's also, I think, by US Games or what? Yes, by US. I like very much the car the US Games. What's this? Why it doesn't want to open? Uh -huh. Okay. And the card, beautiful. Look at this. Uh -uh. I think I did something wrong. Ah, oh, yes, look at what I did. Okay, so these are the beautiful bags, lovely bags. I like the bags. This is a beautiful deck. This is the full. The Magician, High Priestess, and the Queen, Empress, the Emperor, the Pope. It's a Marseille deck, I guess. Eight. This is the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, the Strength card. I think I removed the borders. The Hanged Man and the Death card. Temperance. It's a beautiful Marseille deck. I like the tower and the star, the moon and the sun, judgment and the world. Here is the page of swords. This is the king of swords, the queen of swords and the knight and the page. Ten, nine. It's a beautiful Marseille deck. And... Uh, I like it. It's a nice to it's nice to have it in your collection because it's such a very well known deck. I think by removing the borders 
Should I remove all the borders even till here? I don't think so. I'll have to keep, I'll only remove this outer border because it's too much. Yes, or till here. Well, let me know what you think if you have this deck. Should you remove these two borders or only one? I'm not sure. Anyhow, the cards are large. And uh, if I remove it, it will not be too small. I like always the Ace of Cups. And uh, the quality is really nice. And this, uh, this uh, background is very nice, the color. So it's a beautiful deck. Beautiful classic Marseille deck. And I really like it. And the backs are really very beautiful. So let me know what you think. Should I remove this? Or till here? Let me know. And uh, I would like to know your opinion about these decks. Which one did you like most? And I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. I'm so excited and I'm happy to get these beautiful decks. Uh, happy that you will share these moments with me thank you so much for being here and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share subscribe to my channel thank you so much for being here and see you next video and bye